Hi, it's Francis here from Lead Hero, and I'm super excited to talk about how to increase your rankings with photos. I got this great question today from Matt Titchen of JMT Plumbing and Heating, and he sent through two photos, okay, posted on the same day of the same object, one that got 17,785 views and counting, okay, and one that got only 57 views. And he reached out to me and said, Francis, can you tell me why? Why does one photo get s nearly 20,000 views? Okay, and one gets 57 on Google My Business. Why? How does it work? Okay, and that is such a good question because there's so much about Google My Business that uh, remains a mystery to a lot of people. Like, people don't know. Now, now here's the thing. Google is an all-seeing eye and brain for that matter, the algorithm. It's looking at everything. And that's why Google My Business is not just like a folder that you throw stuff and just post pictures on randomly, okay? Um, especially if you wanna use it to accelerate your sales and rank high or beat your competition, okay? You don't just upload images without thinking first about your strategy and how can these images be improved, okay? and optimized. Okay, and so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how two pictures of the seemingly same object, okay, can have very, very different results on Google. Now, the first thing you want to consider when publishing images on Google is the categorization. So Google gives you categories by owner, customer, you have video categories, interior, exterior. It's, it's set up for local businesses. And you want to make sure you have the right type of photos in the right category. So this is like, this is just uh, optimization 101. Sounds, sounds straightforward, but a lot of people don't do it. So get your categories organized. The second one, which I covered in a recent uh, video in itself, is about geotagging. And that's, you know, every photo wants to have a geotag location stamp in it. And if you want to, um, if you want to know exactly how to do that for free, um, I will post the link to the video where I show you the tool. I do a whole walkthrough on exactly how that's done. Now, normally, uh, you know, every time you take a picture on your phone, it will automatically uh, geotag your pictures, but sometimes you use other people's pictures, or you download pictures, or, or you you that you um, you know you use an agency and you make pictures, so it doesn't have the geotag in them, so they have to be manually added. So so far, categorization and geotagging. Now the the third thing I'm super excited to talk about is about is branding. Okay, your branding, your logo. Uh, now. I was saying that Google is this all-seeing eye and brain. Now, it can read your brand. It can read your logo. So if your logo, in this instance, is a &L Services Gas and Electrical, it is going to read Gas and Electrical, and it's going to optimize that. And so when people are searching for Gas and Electrical, it's going to surface your business. Heating and Plumbing Engineers, same thing. It can read your text. Okay, and so uh, it's it's really it's really an amazing piece of tech, uh, AI. Oh. So yes, it can read your logo and read your text. It can recognize it all and interpret it almost like a human being. Now, back to these photos. So again, why does one photo have so many more views than another photo? Now, one photo is clear. It's focused, it's legible, you know, it's close up, you, you can read the text. Uh, the other photo is blurry, it's taken from far away, and you can't really, you can't, it's not that legible, you can't actually see the text on the sticker. Okay, so you have two different photos of different qualities and legibilities, but of the same object taken from the di different perspective. And Google knows that. And so when people, when Google reads the logo here of the sticker ideal and uh, ideal system filter, it's going, so 
it will read ideal system filter and the logo here. And so people might be searching for filters or ideal system filters or the type of filter in your picture and it will surface this image and your business. Whereas people can't read this and Google can't determine what that is. And they do this through a technology called the Google Cloud Vision API. And this is basically their AI driven uh, all seeing eye and brain that is looking at your photos to determine what the content is. Now I'm going to show you a live demonstration of how this works. I'm so excited. So get this. So Matt Titchen has kindly sent me uh, his photos. And so I'm going to, uh, I'm now on Google Vision API. You can go to this at cloud.google.com slash vision. And basically, all you need to do is upload a photo here into uh, into this um, browser. So I'm gonna I'm gonna upload the blurry one first. Okay, I'm gonna load that in here. And as you can see, it's starting to read it. No, I'm not a robot. So it's starting to analyze this picture. And it will tell me a little bit about the picture. So the object. So it's. It's got an object in it and certain labels. Okay, it's trying to guess what it is. Now, in logos, it's, it, it's analyzed the logo. Got it wrong here. But here's the, here's the cool thing, the text. Okay, so it doesn't read anything in this text. Okay, there's nothing here. There's no data. So it can look at colors. There's nothing. So Google looks at this and it's like, no. I can't read anything. I'm not going to show this to people. It doesn't make sense. There's nothing here. Now, if I take the other image, which is basically the close up photo, which has the, the, the text in it clearly visible. Okay. You can see now if I go to text here, actually, look, it's reading this text here and it will bring it up ideal and it brings up ideal system filter. And so that way, P uh, Google determines that this picture is a more legible, relevant picture, and it can start to optimize your Google My, uh, your Google My Business profile and use that to increase your rankings and relevance and show people your business first. So it's really cool technology. Not a lot of people know about it or how to use it. But so this is, you know, really important. Just to recap, you want to use categories, use geotagging, and you want to add branding, legible branding. And when you when you're taking pictures, you know, if they if you can capture text within those pictures, Google will read that text and optimize your SEO for you. I hope you start using this feature. Uh, you're going to have a competitive advantage because not a lot of people know about it and a lot of people can't be bothered to do it. So if you can actually invest, either do it yourself or if you need help, uh, we can support you in this to skyrocket your rankings, get your local SEO and gear to increase sales and your visibility on Google, then uh, we're happy to have a chat. So I hope this was uh, valuable content for you and uh, that you learned something today. So have a great day and thanks for watching.